Welcome back to Fear 2, everyone. This is Lazy Fire. We're on episode 3. Still attempting to escape this bizarre fucked up hospital. Uh oh. Ah, next grenade type. Set those charges on the supports. Bring this whole damn place down. That worked out. Incendiary grenades are great if you don't hit yourself with them. They set things on fire. That can be really bad for, say, these guys who will stop fighting you to try to put out their fires. And, uh, in general, pretty fun weapons. However, for a lot of situations, I still prefer the good old-fashioned frag grenades. On top of that, they're a bit more common, so it's very helpful to have them. Uh, right there, I thought that guy was still going to be behind that staircase. He actually flanked behind me. Once again, AI, pretty good in this game. You're also going to notice, especially in this area, that destruction in this game is not limited to bullet holes. There are certain areas and things that will explode when hit. Let's throw this. As you can see here, it's actually pretty neat. I really enjoy the little bits of destruction that you can get in this game. Uh, it's one of those things that makes it stand out a little bit to me, is that they went the little extra distance and put stuff like that throughout the game. Full on med kits. Still going in here, though. I think... There we go. I knew that'd pay off. Uh, once you cross a line, an invisible line, in the other room, these guys will start jumping down on you. So that kind of made sense to do. And grab some ammo. You'll notice that sometimes I just pick up ammo by walking over it, and other times I have to look down and hit E. It's a little bit buggy, which is kind of the cause of that reasoning there. Whoa, a little bit of a delay on the trigger that time. Alright, we're all good. Normally there's a guy in here, but because I waited downstairs, he jumped down too. Some pistol ammo. And like I said before, the pistol is going to be the first gun to go, partially because... Shit, that was a frag. Partially because it's outclassed by other weapons in the game, but also because it's... Um... Well, that was bad. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. I ran out of sprint juice before I got to it. Neat. I knew this was here, so I figured I'd just go test out some death. But yeah, uh, the pistol ammo does not appear very much towards the middle part of the game, and it'll occasionally show up. What are you still doing in that facility? They're about to blow the whole place to hell. Ah, snake fist. I was wondering when we'd hear from you again. Why are you helping us? Because I'm convinced that if Sergeant Beckett dies, everybody dies. It all has to do with Project Harbinger. I'll, I'll explain later. Just haul ass. Right. The pistol, not useful at the end of the game. That's just what I'm trying to say here. So... Ah. Trying to take out that silhouetted figure we saw a second ago. I don't really want to fight him up close. You remember in the previous video where we were watching somebody... Oh no, it wasn't him. Okay, good. Unless I got him already. We are watching somebody walk through some fire and they seem to be setting stuff on fire. The first special weapon you get in this game is actually a flamethrower. And uh, it's really damaging. There's not a lot you can do to block it because it does go kind of around cover. It shoots basically Mario-sized fireballs at people. It's pretty great uh, in the early game. Once again, it's a weapon that's kind of outclassed by other weapons later in the game because of the additional health enemies start getting. Full-on submachine gun ammo. Interesting. And the man who wields it is kind of a jerk and takes about a million shots to the head to kill. Oh, uh, well. Looks like we have reason to go into a duct. It is a video game, after all. We'll be going to more generic video game environments. No sign of anyone. I'm heading toward radiology. This place ain't right. This place ain't right could pretty much be the tagline for this game. Everywhere we go is kind of a normal environment for the most part that's just kind of fucked up in some way. Ah, there he is. Now you might think, well, this guy looks a ton like the other guy. 
the the one with the tank on his back. If I just shoot him and treat him like that guy, I should be able to get through this. Not true. Alright, let's use this flamethrower. 10 out of 10, you can see, not a ton of ammo, but most of these special weapons in this game do not carry a ton of ammo. And this guy just got really tired. And on fire. Look at that. Not exactly uh, a great weapon, in my mind. But in the number four slot with nothing else to use, it's not a bad option. Let's go see if there's anything in this bathroom. Nope. Ah! Interesting. That was where the final uh, syringe was. I was wondering where the late game one was. So yes, there's a syringe every now and again that you can use to uh, get more of your slow down time stuff. I have now unlocked every single one of them. So, no more issue there. Once again, I do apologize for the weirdness of the fact that I can't show you everything because of the way the game works. One of the other things about uh, the weaponry in this game is your movement speed and your melee strength are actually predicated upon which weapon you have. So, this gun, or like say an LMG or something like that later in the game, you'll move much slower using it. Uh, but you'll do a lot more melee damage because it's a heavier weapon. You can see here, they catch fire and they just kind of stumble around for a bit and then eventually die. Not exactly, you know, the best weapon in the world. Of course, you can walk over the flaming corpses, which is something that always freaks me out because fire in this game does a ton of damage. And I just collected some armor there. Alright, well... I think that's enough of that. You can see how long it takes these guys to die, too. And some enemies will actually survive that. Wow. No thank you. I was just getting destroyed by somebody over here. Ing Okay. Sometimes the slide's a little wonky. That's what happened there. Huh. Well, it looks like that sky and it being 10:30 at night and all uh, is kind of false. What is it now? Oh, she must be after Sergeant Beckett. His telesthetic profile is off the charts. As I suspected, she can sense him without amplification. Hey. Who the fuck is Alma, anyway? She's the mother of the apocalypse. Take this out. I'm a moron. Well, at least I opened this door. That was definitely my ultimate goal here. I cannot believe I just did that. Once again, the weirdness of my control scheme is not lost on me. It's the, between this and playing Far Cry, where everything's a little different, is not helping me at all. But we're cruising right through the hospital, outside of the, you know, me blowing myself up and everything uh, aspect of it. And nothing in here. As a matter of fact, the bathrooms that we see from here on out are pretty much going to be empty. It's, there's not really a lot to suggest these areas. So, yeah. I don't know if I'll even pop in any more of them, because, I mean, there's no data pads or anything to grab, and it's just going to be bodies that we've seen already. This is bad. Whoa. Hot. What? Okay. I'll take it. One less guy that destroys my day. Hi. <laughs> I love the little limp that he does all the way to me and then just stops. Alright. These guys seem to be fighting something else, unless they're just turning on themselves now. That was bad. 
I really can't afford to have some dude with a shotgun up in my face at this time. Uh, you can see my health is a little... Take it out before it becomes a problem. Okay. Alright, picking up ammo and headed out. Not much else to see here, really. And this is the sort of thing that people mentioned uh, when I said I was going to do this game. Uh, Cooked Auto is probably the person to talk to about that because he was actually planning on doing an LP of this at one point. And there is not a ton to talk about in the environments after a point. And that's completely true. Oh, hey, what's this? Well, neat. That thing just took out everyone. That works for me. Just come through here, get more epileptic fits from looking at the sky. You know, normal day stuff. Let's actually come over here real quick. There we go. A little bit more ammo. Never hurt anyone. <laughs> Thanks for the lift, pal. Oh, I love doing that. Uh, I am down to one med kit, so I am a little bit desperate on that front. Hey, what's this? Frag grenades, yeah. Hey, give me more frag grenades, maybe I'll kill myself and just start over. I cannot believe I've been doing that almost the entire thing. Uh, usually I'm okay with grenades, frag grenades are usually my friends, but in this playthrough right now, frag grenades have not been working for me, I just keep forgetting the button for them. Uh, I actually mentioned it in the first video, but the buttons this game gives you by default are kind of bad. Oh, okay, see ya. Don't help your friend. That's not good. At a point, you have to kind of wonder what part of this is Alma working with you, because we've seen her destroy things with mental tentacles, and what part is terrifying monsters that may be inhabiting this weird, bizarre-ass hospital. I think he was supposed to do something scripted, but fuck that. Oh, hey. Sweet. There we go. And most of these guys, actually, when you're down in health and you don't have, or if you're not using your med packs and everything, these guys will drop health for you. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, this guy just took some damage. Let's see. Nothing back here. I'm really, really hoping for a med kit. Uh, they're usually pretty available here. Anyways, the game has some weird controls at the start when you uh, first start playing, and if you're used to modern first-person... I'll just push the wall to start this up. If you're used to modern first-person shooters, it's not really uh, very helpful. Like, shift will aim down sights. Get into an elevator. I'm gonna try to catch up to her. Just focus on getting out of here. We can link up outside. Right, so anyways, shift will normally aim down sights, right mouse button will punch, uh, middle mouse will open up a weapon wheel, all this other stuff. It just doesn't really work real well for me. And I was having a lot of trouble playing the game because of the controls the game had. And then I just was like, wait, I own a PC, why am I doing this still? Hey, it's time for the shotgun. We're about to go into an area and see something... Well, not new, but we've seen it before, but... Hello. This is an abomination. They are the game's creepy, fast-moving enemies. They crawl walls, they uh, jump at you, they do weird melee attacks like that one. Generally, not fun to play against, because they're a little bit faster than you are, until you hit slow-mo, which which point they move like normal people. And they come at you from all sorts of angles, because hey, they can. And when they jump on you like this, you have to do this. One of your most effective close-range weapons is, of course, your melee system, but that's kind of made invalid because these guys get right up in your face about as soon as that you know that they're there. They're my least favorite enemies in this entire game. I would rather fight 
literally anything else the game throws at you the entire time. But the good news is that they only appear in really... God damn you. Scared the hell out of me. Only really appear in two areas of the entire game. Get that out of the way. We can crawl through there if we had the need to. You can see we do. Why did I hit that button? But people are getting fucked up out here. This is, of course, the operating theater we were in earlier. So you can see that the uh, abominations have gotten themselves uh, pretty far into the facility, if anything. Yo. And they're actually taking on Vanix men. Pretty good. Whoa. We have to help her. This guy's gonna be the best psychic ever when he gets up. Uh. Yep. Oh, mm, you know what? I completely whiffed on this, and I will uh, apologize now for it. We're going to run back real quick. This is something I wanted to show off, but I was kind of just frustrated with how the uh, fight with these guys went. There's an interesting little thing here. Yeah. This is the same texture on a wall, though. Kind of creepy, right? And that actual texture will uh, appear, appear over and over again through the game. So whoever's writing it is either linked psychically or, better guess, lazy developers who didn't want to do more of those. See you, Jankowski. Have fun. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah, the uh, pile of bodies that I just keep in the air conditioning ducts. Did everyone have the same idea? Let's, like, go into the ducts, or did they get dragged here? Probably dragged, if I had to guess. Watch this. This is cool. Just the pile of bodies and entrails. So, I think that will do it for this episode. Thank you for watching, everyone. We'll do another one in a couple days. See you then. Bye.